Fair chance, everyone. It's a good show when we can have show. some steak and it's some a good wine. Show. Yeah. So here's the thing, summer comes around, we're all out on the grill. Um, the steak is, you know, sort of the epitome. That it is, is the, it's, the, it's the meat you want yes. on a summer day. But we've got to talk about the cuts out there, but also how to grill it properly, because you don't want to mess it up. It's expensive. Do you know what? I had so, I've had so many questions about this. Yeah. Uh, and I think there are so many myths about grilling steak. Okay. So we're going to debunk some myths. Let's do that. Okay, myth number one, you have to bring the, the steak up to room temperature before you grill it. You don't have to? You do not. It can be cold? It can be ice cold. You, oh. Okay, not out of the freezer. Not ice no. cold. No, okay, <laughs> right out of the fridge. There's no, you don't have to worry about that at all. Okay. Uh, all right. Myth number two. Everybody needs their own steak. Everyone doesn't need their own steak? No, and I'll tell you why. You want to get a steak that's thick. Yeah. And that's going to take it over single portion size. Okay. So you get out, you literally get out your you measuring tape. You take the measuring tape to the butcher. Yeah. And you say, if it's smaller than one inch, I'm not buying it. Right. If it's bigger than three inches, I'm not buying it. Yeah. But anywhere in between is all right. Okay. Yeah. That's what you're looking for. <laughs> yeah, size matters. <laughs> size matters. Now, let's talk. <laughs> We're just leaving that there. Ladies, just put the measuring tape aside after that. <laughs> Couple of cuts. There are so many different cuts of steak, and most of them are great on the barbecue. It just depends on how you cook them. Okay. This is flank steak, um, mm -hmm. which we've talked about a lot. Uh, kind of a, a, a less expensive, rougher cut. Yeah. Still great. Really meaty, lots of flavor. Okay. This is strip loin. One yeah. of my it's like num number two favorite for me. Okay. Nice, lean, um, but so much flavor. That's why you like it. I like it. It packs a lot of flavor. But then the ultimate steak lover's steak is a ribeye. Right. Are you a ribeye gal? Well, I'll eat any of the, all of the above. Oh, same here, I'm right? Just open all of them. Yeah. But ribeye, I mean, that's for us is a celebration steak. Okay. And we'll get one it's a party. and we'll share it. Like two of us will share it. So you don't have to, uh, you don't, each person doesn't have to have their whole steak because that's yeah. like 20 plus dollars. Yeah, just share people. Just share. Okay. Serve it sliced. Expensive. You're going to serve it sliced. Oh, perfect. Okay. So now that was, uh, we've done two myths. Myth yeah. number three, you need to marinate it. Or you need to rub it. You or don't you need, need to, to like, rub no, it, marinate it. No, you need this special Season ingredient, it. which is called salt. Oh, that's and it. And that is it. Okay. So that is really a big revelation to people. So yeah. marinades, um, they can add flavor, but they don't tenderize. Okay. So that's a big myth. Okay. Okay. So all you do is that you is take your myth. steak. I'm just going to move this guy over here yeah. for a minute. So take your steak, you which take, is not room temperature, or maybe. And you know it what? Have to be. It's been under the TV lights, so it's all right. And then you want to make it snow with salt. Because remember, I'm going to serve this sliced, so I want lots of salt on it. But do you have to it. be fancy like that? You well, have to. You have to. You know what? No, it's part of if it. You, if you season it's it not like, work if out. you're right there and you season it, you get a pile of steak like this. But if you're up here and you go, Maui, I'm seasoning a steak, <laughs> then it's great. Right? <laughs> then it'll work. That's, you don't need a marinade. You got a French accent. <laughs> Myth four, you need a barbecue. You don't need a barbecue for you your steak. You don't need steak. a barbecue. But if you then don't how have do you barbecue, get the nice Don't worry marks. about it. Okay, so this one I did yesterday on my, or this morning on my barbecue. Yeah. So I got the marks. You can either get a ridged pan. Yeah. Or this is my old $20 cast iron pan. Mm -hmm. The only thing is you get that thing as hot as possible. Right. We nearly set off the fire alarm earlier Smoking. here. Smoking. It is going to sizzle. Oh, yeah. Isn't that a good sound? Now, I forgot the most important step. What was it? You have to make yourself a drink first. Yes! Because we all knew that step, so I it's know. needless to stay. So, because once it goes into the pan, you're gonna, or into the, onto the barbecue, you're gonna leave it alone for three minutes. Don't touch. Don't touch. Don't play with it. Have a sip, look at the sunset. Don't move it around. Look at your walls. Yes. Whatever it is, and then Sing. you flip, and then it's three minutes. Three Dance. minutes per side for rare, and that's okay. what I've got here. That's what I like. Right. Now, I can't say this strongly enough. Choose your mate by the type of steak that they like. <laughs> because it's hard to get one side well done and the other side rare. Right. That's a different issue. You have to agree on that. OK, are you ready for the, no the next one? Yeah, you're I know, we're just, we're just going here. crazy. Okay, that we're the next leaving one? that alone, having, having a sip, having yeah. a martini. Let it rest. So even this lovely little steak that's not very big, I'm going to let it rest for about 10 minutes before ten I minutes. slice it. And but then, it's so tempting. I know. Just leave it alone. I know. Just leave it alone. All right. So we're leaving it alone. And okay. in that time, maybe I'm going to make a simple little sauce. Let's do that. Just, you know, because I didn't make a marinade and maybe you want to like spice it up a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to make a little salsa verde. This oh, nice. gorgeous little salsa verde. You just take a handful of parsley. Okay. And you can either do this in the blender mm -hmm. or you can do it by hand. 
This one I did in the blender. It's a little finer. Yeah, and it's if you don't mind, if you don't mind a bit of a chunky consistency. Exactly. Yeah, you can chop just do that it up. I've got garlic, mm -hmm. capers, anchovy, my anchovy fork. Yeah. Lemon juice and olive oil. Nice. A little bit of Tabasco if you want. Uh huh. And then you just. So oh no, you see my knife is over here. So you know what? Forget that. We're going back to the knife. We're going back to the back? steak. Okay. We're going back over here. You got it. So then, okay. Hi. Whew. We left it's it rested. for 10 minutes. It's rested. It's taken a, a drink. good nap. It's, it's ready. It's good, nice, You're good feeling nap. good. It's feeling good. And then you serve it sliced. Okay. So this is about a pound of meat, and you're going to serve it. See, that's pretty thin. Yeah, that is thin. But it's good because people don't even know they're sharing a steak. Ha ha. Well, that's it. Yeah, right? They Whatever. Don't. It's sliced. They don't. They and, don't know. And then after you, and when you serve it sliced, you know, if you get maybe six slices, yeah. that feels like a lot. And let me tell you, the leftovers, if you happen to save two to three slices for the morning, yes. Or for the midnight snack. Okay. Fantastic. So good. Fantastic. Even better, right? Exactly. Some so, things should just be eaten as leftovers. Don't you think? Like pizza's better the next day. Cold pizza? Yeah, I find it better the next day. So that's why I don't want it fresh. So then when, when you go to buy a steak, you want to think about a pound for two people, but maybe yeah. you want a pound and a half so you can have leftovers. Why not? Pound for two right? people. And uh, this is great. Children love to eat, this, eat it like this. You can put this on a salad. You can have it like I like it with a baked potato yes. and a Caesar salad. I think it looks pretty good, girl.